In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom mouse cursor. This is a nice way to add that little bit of extra personality to your game. I'm going to show you how to create one that scales to different multiples of the screen. I'm also going to show you how to create a software mouse, which is one that can snap to different pixels, which works well with certain art styles. So we head on to our test scene here with no custom mouse cursor, as you can see. So the simplest way is to just go into the project settings, scroll down to mouse cursor, and add a static sprite to be your cursor, which I'm going to do right here. Now if we run the scene, boom, we have a custom mouse cursor. But it does not scale to different sizes of the screen, and it doesn't snap to pixels. Um, if you just have one resolution, you might be able to get away with this, but it's not as modular. So I'm going to show you how to do a software mouse first. So let's go to the project settings again and remove the old one. And we'll work on that software mouse. So create a new scene, give it a canvas layer. I'm going to call this cursor manager, save, add a sprite. The sprite is going to be our quote unquote cursor. Add a cursor, uncenter it. And basically what we're going to do is with this sprite, we're going to just set its position to be wherever the, the real mouse is. And we're going to set the real mouse to, to an empty sprite. So add a script, export um, a value for the um, empty cursor, which we're going to set to the real cursor in code. Input uh, set custom mouse cursor, empty cursor, cursor arrow, and click on this. And we're going to give it the this basically just an empty sprite. And that's what's going to be set to the cursor. So now if we run the scene, the real cursor is an empty sprite. And now we have to set the software mouse, this sprite over here, to the real cursor's position every frame. So we'll go to process, sprite.global position equals the global mouse position every single frame. Let's run that. And boom. The sprite is basically getting set every frame. And if we rescale the screen, you can see that the sprite automatically rescales with it. Um, there is a drawback to using a software mouse, even though it is nice and snappy. And I'm going to show you. But first, we'll go into the project settings and we'll auto load the cursor manager so that it automatically runs anytime any other scene runs. And we can also set the layer of the canvas layer to something like 10. And that um, assures that this is going to sit above everything else in the scene. Now let's run the test scene. We have our cursor manager. And yeah, so the software mouse is nice because the this mouse is snapped into the to the grid. You can see it works really well with the pixely art style. Um, and it rescales and this is nice. But there is a drawback which is that the software mouse is getting updated every frame and it will lag behind the real mouse because it takes time for it to get updated. So if we, for example, expose another texture for a new cursor, and instead of setting the real cursor to invisible, we're going to set it to something very visible so that we can follow along where the real cursor is and see just how much the software mouse lags behind the real cursor. So there is a delay. And um, this is something to definitely something to consider because if your game requires precise mouse movements, you, you may want to avoid using a software mouse because that's, that's going to be worse for the player experience, even if it might be better for the art style. So now the question is, how do we create a scalable hardware mouse if we want the precision, but we don't care if it can move freely? So we're going to do a hardware mouse now. Let's start by setting the real cursor back to empty so that we can start with just so we have the software mouse here. The first question is, how do we know what size the cursor should be? And the answer is, it depends on what scale multiple of the base resolution we're at, and that should re be reflected in the mouse. So for 1x or 2x or 3x, the base um, resolution, we should make sure the sprite, the hardware mouse sprite, is three times the size of its base sprite size. So essentially, the first thing we need to do is get the current window scale value, the scale multiple of the current resolution. So Godot um, does expose the current window resolution as something that you can grab. 
and they also expose a signal that you can connect from the tree called screen resized. So now we have a way to get an update every time the screen resizes, and we're gonna we're gonna connect it to a function called update cursor. And in the update cursor, we're going to set the cursor to whatever multiple of the screen it, that, that we're currently at. So first, let's go ahead and get the current window size. And that's just going to be os.windowsize. So if we print this value, as we move the screen around, you can see at the bottom of the screen, we can, we can basically get the current resolution. We also want the base resolution. So I'm gonna expose this into to the editor so that we can basically compare the current resolution to whatever the base resolution is. So the base window is 16120 and the current window is gonna be a multiple of that. Um, if we have uneven multiples, like a very large Y or really wide X, we wanna make sure that we are always using whatever the smallest multiple is, whether that's on the X side or the Y size. So we're gonna do scale multiple is gonna be the min, and we're gonna floor so that we get an integer value of the current window size is X over the base window size is X, and the floor of the current window size is Y divided by the base window size is Y, and let's print the scale multiple. Um, so if we multiply, okay, so it's three here, it's four, two, one. So this is the base resolution. So it seems to be working even at weird um, resolutions. And also, we also want to, if we don't resize the screen, we also want to update the cursor at the start. Okay, so we have the scale multiple. Now the question is, how do we set the actual sprite? Oh, and this is the software mouse, which we are not using right now. So we'll hide it. And right now the cursor is empty, but we're gonna be setting the cursor. Okay, so how do we set the cursor if we know what multiple of the screen resolution we're at? Well, we'll start by getting the real base cursor sprite, and we'll start there. So the default cursor is exposed. And let's start by just setting it to the uh, default cursor, and then we'll, we'll construct it from there. So we expose the default cursor, and it's still empty. Oh no, it's not empty. Uh, so we should not do that. Okay. Okay. So the, it's really tiny right now, but we're, we have the real hardware mouse. We just need to scale it, um, but it's there. So how do we scale it? We're basically going to take the default cursors sprite and create a new texture where we use that sprites data and then resize it in the image. So we'll start by getting a, a base image texture and then we'll take an image and we'll take the default cursor's data. So we're gonna be stealing basically the sprite data of the default cursor and storing it in this image. And then we need to resize it. So we're gonna call image.resize and we're gonna pass in however much we want to resize the sprite to. So if it's eight by eight, we want to resize it to 16 by 16 or 32 by 32 or whatever the scale multiple is. So instead of just using hard-coded values, let's just get the default cursor, um, base cursor size in, in the editor so that we can reference that. So this cursor is eight by eight and we're gonna resize the X value to that base cursor size is X times our scale multiple. Um, and then the base cursor size is Y times the scale multiple. And then um, the scaling mode is going to be uh, interpolate nearest so that we don't get something blurry. And then we are gonna take this image and store it back into the texture, and then we're gonna set the custom mouse cursor to the texture, and let's run this. And we don't see anything. Oh, because our texture should be created from the image, not from itself. There we go, okay. And that's looking good. 
Um, there is one small thing which, for some reason, the cursor is sometimes it appears to be off by one multiple. So to fix that, just instead of multiplying by the scale multiple, add one to it. I'm not sure why it seems to be off by one, but this is the correct resolution. And there you go. So we basically are taking the default cursor sprite. We're creating, getting the image data from it. We're resizing it on the fly every time the screen resizes. And then we're storing that back into a new texture. And then we're setting the cursor to that new texture. And that's how you get a scalable mouse hardware mouse cursor um, for, for your game. And I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.